Okay, just going to talk you through the Sonosite S2, which is our procedures machine in the department, um, and some of the features that we use to, to work it. First off, at the back of the machine, the on button is at the back here, um, at which point the machine will boot reasonably quickly and give you this startup screen. Sometimes there's a slight delay with a yellow message at the bottom that's just waiting for some of the function keys to become active. This machine's got two transducers. There's a larger footprint, higher frequency um, transducer that we typically use for fascia iliaca blocks and a smaller footprint um, light transducer that we'll typically use for central and peripheral venous access. Um, at the bottom of the transducer, you can see the name of the transducer. So this is the L25 and this would be the HFL50. To swap between transducers, um, you can currently see where the transducer is selected on the L25. To swap transducers, press the transducer button and it'll show that it's currently on the L25. To switch, you just switch on the switch button and then it will change between the transducer to the other side. And after a small delay, it'll usually sh display what transducer is on this side. A little bit slower than usual this time. So now it's changed to the L50 and it's on a nerve setting NRV. To change the preset, if it's particularly wrong, you can choose from a select number of presets here. And then if we switched back or did it in error, you'll get it back to the L25 here. Most procedures, um, we don't recommend keeping images because it's very much a real time process. Um, so to um, do, uh, the procedure itself, you just need to be familiar with some of the controls. Rather than entering patient data, we uh, expect you just to perform the procedure with cleaning before and after. To adjust the gain, uh, this can be turned clockwise or anti-clockwise, and the depth can be adjusted anti-clockwise or clockwise on this turn dial. Um, focus defaults to the center of the screen. You can see that the, currently the depth is set to 2.6 uh, millimeters. All these other features um, I would suggest not using at the basic introduction to the machine. It's got uh, limited value and more um, likely to have been selected in error um, that's more likely to confuse you. A general use gel bottle will be here. Again, noting that this is non-sterile gel and shouldn't be used for the procedure itself. It's more for survey scans. Um, access to sterile gel will either be in bigger packets or Surgery lube in every cubicle is actually sterile gel that's suitable for performing procedures. To clean the transducer before and after, we recommend diligent low-level disinfection with um, Clinelle wipes um, that should remove all the gel and visible debris, um, and it will not count if there's blood contamination. Um, so they should be stocked either in the cubicles or on the back of the trolley. In the top of the drawer of the trolley, we stock um, small insulin-sized syringes with some local anaesthetic, and that allows you to anaesthetize skin before any procedure. And further features at the back is we've got sterile transducer covers, rubber bands, and the longer cannula, noting that this is a 45 millimeter cannula as opposed to the usual 38 millimeter cannula and is less likely to fail in the event of um, ultrasound guided vascular access. Power cables at the back, just be careful sometimes it gets detached from the bottom here if you've got issues with it charging. Most of the time for most procedures, um, the machine will have plenty of battery backup to be able to form a single procedure. The only other thing that you might get into trouble with is occasionally if you've um, not touched the controls for a period of time, the machine may go into power saving and freeze and you can reactivate that literally with a touch on the screen. It'll reactivate and work on things. So hopefully that'll get you started with doing procedures.